What is a phishing addict? On today's video, we will be talking about how to find or where to find um, large mouth or uh, walleyes or small mouth in the river systems in winter. Uh, actually, it'll, 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 you can also um, use it on the lakes as well as rivers. It's the same. Uh, I, I go with the same principle. But before we get to that, guys, hit that subscribe button and uh, click that bell icon for uh, for notifications. And uh, after this video, for every other video that I do, um, I will be doing a giveaway. Um, I will not announce it on the titles because that way it brings up people that uh, are uh, whatever. And uh, we'll be doing uh, some big swim bait uh, giveaways. Um, these are from Epic Baits. Um, I will be making uh, different colors, um, doing some experimental colors and uh, tying up some jigs. And uh, whatever I make, um, I'll uh, share the wealth with you guys. Uh, I'm not sure how many winners I'm going to pick every video, but I, I think it should be multiple winners because I'll be making a lot of stuff. Um, that said, uh, let's get back to the point. So, uh, I haven't been making videos, but uh, I've been fishing and uh, I post once in a while uh, um, in YouTube shorts and um, just my Instagram and social media. And a lot of guys keep on asking me, uh, uh, where do I find them and how do I locate them? It, it's actually uh, most common um, to catch a lot more fish on the rivers than uh, lakes. But uh, river fish do have a little bit faster metabolism. They have to eat more often than the uh, lake fish. However, lake fish do eat uh, at winter as well. Um, uh, there is a myth out there that uh, they hibernate no fish do not hibernate they still eat they just have um, narrower feeding windows and they do not feed as much as uh, they feed in warmer uh, uh, months so there is you can watch a video on uh, some guy giving uh, late winter uh, fishing tips in Florida on his uh, short sleeves and uh, uh, sunblock and stuff so our winter is a little bit different in in midwest and northern uh, part of the country um this year we don't have ice but usually around this time we have ice so um we're kind of blessed you can say um so where to find fish first of all you shouldn't be out there first uh first light um, usually that's when the water is just, the sun is just peaking up and just starting to warm up the water. So most of the fish will be inactive. So, uh, enjoy your coffee, have your breakfast and best time for me to head out. It will be right after nine o'clock, uh, 10, 11 ish, um, depending on the day. Um, if it's cloudy, I'll, I'll stick around more to noon and afternoon bite then uh, try the morning bite and uh, simply because the sun uh, will warm up uh, I would say rocks uh, bluff wows you know, it's it's a great great starting point and also uh, wood wood and uh, rocks big boulders will hold sunlight uh, the heat a lot better than anything else um, for rivers same thing look for bridges um, there will be some fish in the dams and when i say some there is some in there even though the water is ripping um you have to keep in mind the dams are made are uh, uh cement and concrete and all that uh, heavy stuff. So they do retain a lot more heat than just uh, uh, gravel 
uh, gravel gravel floor, and a lot of bait bait fish will be there. So the fish are uh, the predator fish are just following them, and uh, most of the time the dams will have a deeper spot like uh, Algonquin Dam uh, on the left hand side when you park uh, by the little park over there on the left hand side there's a little deeper cove and a lot of fish will be in there on the bottom of the of the river um, you just have to be just real patient and uh, figure out what they want to eat so and also that brings in, i guess as i was saying um speaking of uh deep spot in algonquin dam the left hand side the deeper hole also it is on the uh, northern side um the northern point of a lake or the river the most northern point it will get the most sunlight so the fish will be there um, because it's getting more sunlight than any other point um, the water will be warmer it might not be by much but still warmer water will attract the bait fish and thus will attract the predators and um, since now we know the locations um, bluff walls uh, deeper points um, deeper northern points and uh, big rock piles or wood all right, so next thing is uh, when you find the fish, uh, when you're at the northern point or uh, fishing the rock or wood, um, you, got, you have to pick a bait. I'll pick the smallest um, bait that you, uh, you like to use. Um, it could, like Ned rigs are amazing at this time of the year. Um, they're do nothing bait. They don't have action for the most part. Um, like the TRDs, they are right now, they are killer, killer bait. Uh, I personally like using uh, um, swim baits. Um, and uh, depending on the situation, I vary my cadence or I change colors a lot. When I say a lot, I'll, I'll use a cover for half an hour or 45 minutes. If I don't get a reaction, I move down to a different cover. Um, I'll, I'll change my cadence every, I'll say, um, six to 10 casts, uh, depending what I'm fishing and what's my target uh, species. So I, I like using uh, swim baits. Um, this time of the year when the water is uh, um, below, uh, 40 um, I'll, I'll drop down to a three inch uh, swim bait uh, paddle tail and uh, first what I would do is I'll cast and uh, I'll let it fall on the bottom I'll do slow retrieves um, I tend to get snagged up a lot but uh, when you're doing when you're rolling the bait very slow even if you get jammed into a rock it's not like really hard jammed, so you can just pop your line and usually the bait comes out. Um, I tend to lose some, but I, I would say um, I retrieve 80% of my lures back. And uh, uh, for fishing that that style, that's pretty, pretty good. Uh, next, if I don't get bites like that, um, I'll resort to hopping it with uh large pauses i'll hop twice and it will, i'll dead stick the bait um even though the bait is it's in the ground it's on the floor the tail will have some type of movement and uh that little movement um i believe entices the bite uh, especially if you're using a uh, uh some type of jig uh especially if you're using a rubber, I don't have any rubber um, jigs tied down right now. Um, they're pretty much packed. Uh, but um, a jig with a silicone skirt or, uh, or rubber skirt, um, these little things will move and that, that will get you extra bite. Um, color wise, um, I like 
uh, fishing variety colors. I'll 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 do if I'm uh, if I'm using uh, um, like a Nedrick type of thing. I'll I'll go with the uh, uh, more of a, a crayfish colors, um, dark greens and blues, uh, dark greens and red. Black and blue always works. Um, no matter the uh, clarity of the water, black and blue uh, will work most of the time uh, better than any other color. Uh, when I'm using swim baits, um, I like to stick with uh, shark juice, uh, natural or uh, plain white. For the jig head, um, depending on the species, um, I'll either use some type of green or black. Um, those are the only colors that I found that uh, they do the job for me, especially for winter. And uh, the next um, cadence that I'll, I'll use is, uh, so the first one is slow swimming it on the bottom, um, hopping, and then I'll resort to dragging. Um, now you tend to get snagged more often, but uh, when you're dragging, you have to, uh, keep in consideration if you're dragging it on uh, on sandbars or if there is rocks you have if you have a front tight jig like this this is probably most um, effective in grass um, you tend to uh, damage the um, tie where you tie uh, your uh, your leader and um, tend to break off more so it's better to use something like a net rig or uh, or the hook and the tie the eyelet instead of being instead of being over here it's on top um, 90 degree tie ends will be much better when you're dragging um, simply because the knot doesn't get damaged um, I use with this type of jigs um, I usually break off from over here because I'm dragging it on the on the uh, on the bottom. <coughs> and other thing, other key feature that I look is the bank. Um, especially if you're fishing the rivers, you will see small, very small, tiny fry by the bridges. Depending on which side of the bridge, if it's in front of the bridge or uh, back end of the bridge where the current breaks are, um, that's where you gotta fish. They usually you have a um, little current break, current seam. The fish will be right inside the current seam. So you cast in front and uh, just wait uh, for your jig to pass uh, where they're staged up. And usually there will be like a bunch of fish. Um, that's my one of my favorite uh, uh, places to target walleye and uh, also where the, I found that there's uh, smallmouth bass uh, uh, sticking around those areas. Um, just have to uh, switch lures and uh, then I, I get the, I, I get a lot more smallmouth than walleye. Um, next thing, and it is very key future uh, when you're fishing in winter, scent. Just because uh, you're slowing down a lot more than uh, warmer water conditions, the fish has a lot more time to inspect your bait. And uh, that's why a scent will, will be more favorable to you because you be, uh, the fish will see it and smell it so if you're if you're if you're using a, a net rig uh little uh their uh z cross or whatever they're called and uh, and you add some scent to it you can add that many scents to uh z man but uh, let's say you're using a floating plastic uh for for winter fishing um so your bait stands up so the fish sees it, the shape, it's a crayfish, and now it smells it's a crayfish, it'll entice, you get more bites.
uh, over the years I've tried it with uh, multiple uh, multiple lures when I use scent I get more bites and uh, not that much the color more natural colors work better um, for some reason black and blue works no matter what uh, I believe it's because of uh, uh, I believe it was a dragonfly larva or some kind of larva well, that they're uh, uh, about two inch or three inch uh, in size and uh, they're black in the winter before they hatch or whatever um, so that's why I guess black and blue works in the rivers uh, very well so I'm not gonna make the video that long pretty much um, those are my uh, uh, go-to things in the winter of finding fish and uh, enticing more bites so that's it guys i'll catch you guys on the